Hey, what's up guys? Just here in my living room bringing you a little bit of a different video this time. Uh, partnered up with B&H and I'm bringing you a mail drop of stuff that I've ordered that um, it's all under 500 bucks. So everything all combined is under $500. And this is production gear stuff that I'm gonna use with the studio to help me record videos. So not directly drum related, no drums in here, but this is all stuff that's going in my uh, warehouse studio to help me capture content. So question for you before we get into this, would you be interested in seeing like a monthly mail drop sponsored by uh, or partnered with B&H of, again, the whole thing every month, it would be all of it combined total under 500 bucks of stuff that I use and I'll put in my studio. Would you be interested in that? Would you be interested in a monthly mail drop video? Comment below. But let's dig into this and I'll show you uh, what I got this month uh, for our mail drop. Also, everything that I'm using is linked in the description below. So if you want to see some of it, all of it, if you're interested, check that out. Okay, so first up, we have a sandbag. And I actually didn't realize this when I ordered this one, but this is a filled, a pre-filled sandbag. This is by a company called Impact. So, obvious, but a sandbag, this is a saddle sandbag. So it's like over the top here. So you can hang this on something. For drums specifically, you can use them on cymbal stands if you're trying to, you know, really lean some cymbals with some like large condenser mics, really useful. But obviously useful uh, to, uh, you know, weigh down different stands and stuff for video. So these are double lined, so they're really good. So what I do, I'm actually not sure what's in these uh, since they're pre-filled, but I get a Ziploc bag and I'll put sand or beans or rocks in them, put them in here and this has two zippers, so it's got two bags in here. So I do Ziploc bag with two bags beans or rocks or even sand. So yeah, it's first thing is this sandbag. Pre-filled. All right, next up is this light. This is a Generay, as I believe how you say it. Uh, Generay Mono Bright. So this is a single LED light. Um, it is equivalent to 1200 watts, I think is what they say. Um, and it, um, it's just a single um, color temperature. I think it's like daylight, 5200 Kelvin, I believe. Um, and what's great about this is the price point. Um, it's really not that expensive at all. Uh, the limitations are, again, it's just a single color. So it's just daylight bright. So this is just a great addition um, to your setup. Um, you know, there's probably other lights that can do more that may be better for you. Um, that will be RGB or different color temperature or different effects. This one is just like kind of like a, a one trick pony, but that's also kind of what's good about it. Is it just simple, very easy, just does one thing, does it well. Um, it comes with a remote um, that works. I've already got one of these in the studio, so we're just adding this one to it. Again, I think I'm saying that right, generate mono bright, um, and it's pretty bright. Next up is this C stand by Impact. You can see here what it is. But um, I know if you work in video at all, C stands are obviously nothing new to you. But if you don't and come from a drumming side, um, you know C stands may be kind of a foreign concept to you. So C stand is just a heavy duty stand, um, and it's worth the investment. Uh, if you're recording drum videos, maybe in a drum cage at your church, it may not be that uh, practical for you. But if you're recording any other space and you want to hang. A GoPro, you want to hang a camera, uh, you want to mount something, um, anything video-wise, C-stands are a great, great investment. So I'm just picking these up as I go. I would highly recommend if you do any video work at all at your church, just invest in some C-stands. It's going to save your life if you ever have a camera that drops off of a cheap light stand. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So great addition. Um, and it's, a, it's got a boom arm on it, uh, which is helpful. And let's go on to the next. Okay, and this is a 48 inch soft box or they're calling a boom box for a bones mount. So this is just a really big uh, helpful way to get your light out there. So this is, it's massive, you can tell. So yeah, excited about that.
All right, and finally, this is just a posing table, or for me, I'm gonna use it as a small workbench, right? Computer, I'm gonna put it together later. But, um, you know, again, if you're in a drum cage or at your church, this is probably too big for that space, but for me, I can roll around in that. It's good enough for a laptop, 14 inch or 16 inch, even larger laptop. Um, and so it's gonna great, make a little great table for me there. So yeah, this is, I know it's just random odds and ends, but to me, this is stuff that's gonna help my production workflow move forward a lot quicker. Uh, make my videos come together faster and help me in that process. So I would love to know again, are you interested in seeing more of a monthly mail drop from B&H, things that I'm going to use because I'm getting this stuff every month. I'm going to be getting it. I'm going to be using it in the studio. The question is, are you interested in seeing what it is and how I'm using it in the drum studio? So from here, we're going to hop over to the studio and just show you really quick how I'm using it there. So um, that's the main question. Is there something you would love to see every single month? Comment below. Let me know. And if you don't care, just say, hey, man, Let's keep it uh, not on production. Let's just keep it on drums. I don't care about this stuff, and that's fair as well. I've got all this stuff linked uh, in the description below, and for some of the things I have, you know, higher end stuff that I like more um, than what I currently have. Again, this is just things that I'm I'm adding to my setup. So it may not be like the tripod. It's not my main tripod. I'm just adding this in the mix. So yeah, um, I'm working with B&H, so in the description below, you'll see links to all kinds of stuff, all the gear that I use. In fact, this camera, this lens, my favorite tripod here, all the lights, everything that I use to make my drum videos. Um, you guys have been super complimentary of the production level of my drum videos, and I'm hopefully just going to keep pushing that up. I want to just keep getting better and better, so thank you for that. Um, and I want to share just the, what I'm doing, the way I'm doing it, um, and all the pieces that go into making that possible. So. Thank you again to B&H for sending this stuff out. Um, they're not paying me for this video, um, although uh, they did send me this stuff for free and I get to pick everything, you know, what, what it is that I want to get, I get to pick that um, from them. So this is all stuff that I curated and I'm interested in, I'm gonna use in my setup every time I shoot. So anyways, uh, big shout out to them though uh, for being a great partner with me, I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's stuff you want me to get my hands on uh, from B&H that they do, uh, and they offer, let me know and I can get it and show you how I would use it and how good it is, or maybe if I don't like it. Uh, so yeah, um, thanks for watching this video. If this is like the first video you've seen on my channel, you just stumbled across this video, I want you to know that I have over 600 videos here on my channel. It's crazy to sound as it sounds. Um, they are drum covers, that's the main thing, drum covers of me serving in my local church or playing in an event or something. Uh, drum tutorials, uh, they are rig rundowns and gear break, you know, breakdowns and all different kind of stuff. And mostly it's drums and videography as it pertains to capturing drum content. So it's kind of a, a unique blend there. But yeah, if you haven't seen that, I encourage you to check out other videos on my channel. Make sure to subscribe, share this with somebody, comment below. Uh, let's get the conversation going and hope to see you guys in the next one.